Did everything actually fall last night? The answer is no. Nanquest, Atlas, Atlas Crest Investment, Alder, which is Drone Vault, got up. Faro went up. CM Life Sciences went up. Raven was up. Let me show you a few companies that uh, actually was not uh, being sold off because they weren't in the insanity mode. Raven Industries, we said, was a buy here at 33. Lo and behold, last night, while the market was tanking into a Red Sea, Raven Industries was like a blue ocean where all the money is going into, right? Okay, this is a farming robot. Nanquest, I would agree, was actually more of a chase already on my part. I knew that this was a this is a cancer-related play. Notice these are going up from seven all the way to well, forty dollars, not yet seventy dollars. But um, of course, I was a little bit, you know, I was okay. I'm not that late, but I'm not early either. I think the buying was here about twenty dollars. I still high. Uh, I still went in at about twenty-eight with the leeway to enter at twenty dollars, by the way. But you could see that this was the greed mode. We're hitting in the euphoria zone for NanQuest and maybe insanity zone within the next couple of days or months. Of course, with insanity, don't expect that that vertical rise will actually just take off without a drop. So let's say this 36 does go to 56. Awesome Tenex is already ready to sell at 55 or $60. Now, of course, 36 can also go down to 25. What, what are you going to do? Of course, I think that 25, a drop to about $20 is more of an opportunity rather than a selling area. So um, I do think that the market is now appreciative of many uh, of many cancer-related plays. So this is one company that is actually benefiting. For those who don't know who Nanquest is, Nanquest, let's read it. What does Nanquest do? News. Um, Immunity Bio and Nanquest announced an FDA authorization in being mixed COVID-19 vaccine trials. So should you buy Nanquest? All right. So right now, actually, you're seeing a lot of companies that are able to solve uh, vaccine-related problems or even cancer therapies go up. What exactly happened, example, for Novan? We were saying Novan was about 90 cents. We also de de depicted that there was a resistance here about $2 or $2.40. Even at $1.90 last night, what you can see here is not really euphoria or insanity. This is the greed. This is the euphoria. It's still in euphoria mode. It's not yet in the insane zone. Meaning, um, those who have Novan here about $1 are not required to sell at $2 just because you're up 100%. Now, some people, it's okay. Like I know that I always tell people who are in Awesome 10X, selling is really an art. Sometimes I sell 100%, it goes 500%, I feel bad. So what I do is, it's up 100%, I trim. So trimming is a, a, no, a normal option that I do. I trim and then I really let my winners go up, 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 up in a way. Especially if I know I'm early. Of course, if you're, if you're early in Novan, let's say you entered at $1 below, you're not in a hurry to take profits. In fact, you're, you're here to actually take an opportunity if this one goes down to 150, knowing that you're right, because it's gonna go where? $3, $350, $4, $5, right? So you're of the opportunity not to really unload all of your shares, but more in the importance of holding on to your babies as if they're gonna grow up to be adults. You're in the infant zone, it's gonna go adult mode, so you wanna actually go from Charmander to Charmillion to Charizard Zone. Let's take a look at some companies. Okay, Nanquest says here, the Science Advisory Board staff is saying that February 12, last week, it has authorized Immunity Bio and Nanquest to expand the phase one testing of bivalent human adenovirus 5, also known as HAD5 T-cell COVID-19 vaccine. A multi-cohort trial is currently underway. Expansion will study a subcutaneous version of the vaccine in order to review adding sublingual boost. In a second phase one study, the first firms will ex examine adding an oral boost, subcutaneous prime administration, la la la. They will enroll another 100 participants to complete the viral clearance of SARS-CoV-2 in lung and nasal passages. Immunity Bio is using Microsoft software to visualize the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein. They are also merging. Who is Immunity Bio? Let's read the website of Immunity Bio. Nanquest is also scaling up their COVID-19 stem cell therapy. All right. 
So uh, the clue, guys, is that try to check out a lot of stem cell related companies. You might actually 10x, 20x, 50x your money or just simply accept the fact that Awesome 10x Inner Circle can do it for you and you can just join, register Awesome 10x and we'll give you some leading companies that you might want to enter into your portfolio. Immunotherapy, it says here, immunotherapy platforms, they've got activated NanQuest NK and T cells, activated M1 macrophages, memory T cells. We establish immunity bio to advance the next generation of immunotherapies to address serious unmet needs within oncology and infectious diseases. The basis is T cell based immunotherapies such as in checkpoint inhibitors, chimeric antigen receptor T cells, or CAR T cells. Fundamentally, we promote adaptive immune responses, activating the cytokinase, which is a natural killer, or NK cells, T cells, tumoricidal macrophages, seeking to establish immunological memory to support long term protection against disease. You know, actually, I tried to study immunotherapy not because I wanted to, but my brother actually had cancer. I have relatives who had cancer. I was not looking on cancer to actually invest on cancer early on. Um, it was a personal decision to just understand these cancer plays because if it can save my 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 relative's life, of course, we're going to have to read and study what exactly is available in the market public uh and what it's not really about investing in it's really about saving a life so um yeah um, i'm happy to say that my brother has been healed not by immunotherapy but i mean i'm happy to say that if you get uh, uh you know i think next time car t cells spear t cells these are going to be affordable and it's actually going to save people's lives what's important is that you know that you're investing in medical breakthroughs you can lose money 5%, 20%, 50%. What's the, what's the reward though? If you get the, the life-saving drugs at the cheaper cost eventually, because right now the, the world is actually transitioning into using deep learning. We're talking about AI. We talked about this, the, the, the genomics explained. We talk about ARK Invest, believing in biogenomics. We also believe in the same thing. And we actually share in a free Friday class. Now, of course, after free Friday classes, we do try to deep dive more companies in a deeper mode. There is what you call base editing. There is what you call genetic editing. You can learn about spare T cells, CAR T, learn more and invest in companies that you can actually see a potential 10x reward. Now, of course, you don't want to invest so solely on just one company. So you want to actually diversify, diversify, diversify. How about, so you've heard me say, okay, Arsimoto is falling down. January 18, what exactly was the price of January 18? Somewhere here at about January 18, we're already saying that about $25. You know, um, all right. Well, uh, well, yeah, you could see that this has been moving up. But actually at $30, these movements, look. We are entering at five. This one went seven X, right? So um, at some point in time, even the people who got in late at 13 still managed to make 100%. So it was obvious that you want to actually be profit taking. But take note, after selling at $32, this is an area point right now. Arsimoto here about $20, even if it goes down to $17, is actually more of an opportunity to go back to its rightful place and be an ascending uptrend where it is really supposed to be right so um what happened here is just really people getting so bullish and then of course the mean reversion so there's nothing wrong really like you want to be buying here at about 18 20 if you believe that people will have a last mile delivery solution and the liberator aka arsimoto is gonna be a, a perfect answer to that um idea of course, right now you're seeing companies that are new. This is something that I haven't studied. This one went up last night, Greenland Technologies. Take note what happened here. From $2 rose to $26. It even rallied from 8 to 26 last night. Of course, gotten sold down at 14. But what exactly did Greenland Technologies do to prompt people to buy it up last night? So let's read the news on Greenland Technologies and let's go to the website as well. So there was actually um, a news last night that it was actually working with SOCMA. Let's read this together. They're going to offer integrated electric drive train. So November, they reported their results. 
expecting increases, drive trade systems. They're going to ramp up over 800 units, launching a new division, entering the electric industrial vehicle market. Let's read all about the Greenland. So within the website, GTEC is saying that they are a leading developer and manufacturer of power and driving systems for material handling equipment. We create quality solutions. We have the capability. We're investing in the future. So um, there's a lot of stuff inside. Let's read the news first. The specific news last night was supporting the U.S. production of electric vehicles. We're talking about a company that will manufacture drivetrain systems, material handling machineries and vehicles, and SOCMA, which is South China Heavy Machinery Company, which is a leading company in Fujian, China. Fujian, guys. It's Fujian. I am hailing from, well, my ancestors came from the Fujian province. It was a province in China, and uh, we traveled from China all the way to the Philippines. So I am a Chinese citizen. Uh, sorry, I'm a Filipino Chinese. Uh, by blood, I'm Chinese. Anyway, um, what else? It says here that the agreement represents a commitment by Greenland to invest in the U.S. as a key center of innovation in the global electric vehicle market. They are utilizing the supply chain to support the production of electric industrial vehicles. What exactly are these electric industrial vehicles? Can we see the looks of this Greenland electric industrial vehicles? All right, Greenland, Greenland Tech. Can I see like the risk operation of electric industrial vehicles? Okay, it looks like this. Um, it's supposed to help these types of cars. Um, you can see the pictures, right? Uh, whether it be a Rivian, whether it be a Changto. What you have to understand is that if you are making the parts within these cars, are you going to make a lot of money if we go 500 million vehicles someday in the future? I think the answer there is a yes. So the market is just um, consequently just buying a company that can triple their money, that can tenfold their money because it is a company that can do that. Um, all right. It enters the market. I need to know this. Um, Mr. Wang, the CEO, commented, we are very excited to be formally launching our new division. This is the division that will enter the electric industrial vehicle market. So they can now leverage the company's R&D track record. They have an extensive IP. They've got state-of-the-art manufacturing capability to help this movement. The industry is expected to be $170 billion by 2027 because U.S., China, Europe has 70% market share of the market. And China is the fastest growing market. So they're going to use and leverage their expertise and invaluable customer relationships. They are a developer, a manufacturer of transmission and drivetrain systems for electric vehicles as well as electric forklift trucks. So the company's clean energy batteries, lithium systems require less maintenance, charge faster, efficient, more efficiently, longer than lead acid power. Just visit gtechtech.com. All right, you can learn more, you can understand more. They even said here in December, they're wrapping up over 800 units in these electric forklift trucks, drivetrain systems. All right, so um, I'm pretty sure you uncover more. First impressions do last, okay? What you can see here, the results. All right. These results are third quarter 2020. Says here that Raymond Wang, we're pleased with the strong growth of our business despite the COVID-19. We are able to launch our robotic cargo carriers. We believe that this represents a major long-term growth opportunity. We expect a multi-year driver of revenue growth and expansion. The CFO said our team has done an excellent job ending the third quarter with a stronger financial position. Our revenues are now $17 million. This is a grand total increase of uh, 38% compared to last year's $12 million. Now, um, also, we are going to, um, you know, our costs increase 30%, but that's because, of course, our revenues increased 38 The gross profit is already $3 million and approximately 70% up from last year. Gross margin is significantly improving to 20%. Uh, income has been growing. We have cash. We don't need to actually borrow money. Net income is okay, la, la, la. So the business outlook is expansion, long-term demand from customers. You can see these things. 
For the nine months ended, our revenue is $42 million. Our gross profits are 8.2. Net income could double and triple within the next couple of years. So there. Um, Sokma. All right. This is a very huge news. Sokma. Okay. Uh, that's the news. This is Sokma. You could see these trucks. Sock machinery, very clear. Uh, these are some forklifts, right? It's counterbalancing heavy duty, telescopic forklift, company profile, let's gather the fireflies, Pucha in South China, heavy machinery, manufacturing, blah, 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 blah. All right, you can learn more, but I, I think like it's very clear to you that the market is simply responding that, hey, Greenland is such a great company and GTEC right now at $14 is not yet in the most expensive time so it's an all-time high yes but at the end of the day if they're gonna grow further it is just a manufacturing vehicle that's gonna grow in time congratulations to those who have it at three or eight but even at fourteen dollars all the way to eight dollars i think the answer is very clear the upside is larger than the downside and we do not actually are we're not penny wise awesome 10x is not penny wise we don't need to buy the last peak i mean the last bottom and sell at the highest peak to make money guys you just need to identify a secular trend identify a great company and end of the day make some money investing long term in that secular trend we're talking about secular trend years and years in the making